Hey guys, hey guys, come here. Welcome back to Language 5.0. And on this part two of the video, we'll be featuring the going through and demo play of SP Leon and how it will assist and help your allies. But before that, we'll be going through some quick missing update like exclusive items and skin for the month of. Uh, January to February at least and very sorry that I've been missing out um, some updates for the couple of months I've been very busy but nonetheless let's go through first so I probably missed out from January so we'll be going through on um, the four items at the top but uh, if I'm not wrong I have already gone through um, Burners and Azusa exclusive so yep um, for January 2023 Exclusive first is for Oboro, so it's a helmet, and it's when you get a, your uh, cast your energy gathering skills, and if you have faction buff special effect, you obtain one um, dragon charge straight away, and then when you initiate attack or go into battle, damage you take, and damage that got reflected back to you. Are reduced by 30% so not too shabby but not too great it is slightly helping you to speed up uh, a little bit by at least one turn that is only if provided you have faction buff then moving on to it's Liana which is the favorite waifu from Zilong and why do I say that you guys will be finding out very well right away so as you, as you can see, the item that Liana get is not a helmet. What she get is an armor. So apparently, um, as you guys know, that Tenyo headdress is the one that gives you random positive buff effect. And everyone's um, favorite dream come true will be a plus three movement from Tenyo has been causing a great turmoil and disruption in both PvE and PvP. So apparently Zilong is trying to um, resolve these issues by giving all mage, holy class, um, helmet as item uh, as much as possible so that um, you will not be using Tenyo, you will not be Tenyo Greaser. However, for Liana's case, it's not the same. She's given a dress and perhaps it's due to that she is the twin sister of Lana and thus they gave her the dress and might be dead. However, looking at her exclusive items, the effects are kind of um, a great improvement for her compared to other older characters. So, um, okay, as you can see, increase um, HP stats and followed by okay, first effect if you use act again on any target, the target. Well, has an additional increased attack and intelligence by 20% for two turns. And that's not all, followed by your summon Sky Archer units will have their stats increase. Not only that, your summon Sky Archer will gain an addition skills of Holy Hue. So that is very great and very strong and she in fact she is the first characters for four years that um in, in my well four to five years of Langreaser's gameplay that she's the first character receiving such great buff. Not only is she getting uh, improvement for herself, she's also getting a great improvement for her summon units. Um such Traces are not found for characters like Bozo, Lana, and other characters who can do summons. And only that, they are giving your summon units an additional skills. You definitely don't see that from other heroes too. No, and it's not just any skill, but holy healing. So at the end of a turn, your allies can, when they end their turn, they can regain back 20%, 20 percent 20 to 30 percent of their lost hp so that's a lot definitely the flavor waifu from zilong what did you guys think then moving on february 2023 as you can see there's a very great there's a great contrast or great difference in the treatment 
receive from another mage class, mage uh, or mage holy unit, and that is Florentia 2.0, aka the Iron Blood Commander. So the item she received for exclusive is a helmet. So um, the usual stuff: increase your HP stats and your magic defense. Okay, the effects are also to increase our HP. However, the effects are just one straight line, and <laughs> that's it. So, um, when in battle, every time you use your formation ability from your talent, the strengthening buff effect being cast will has an additional turn, and that's it. So, when we say additional turn, is that her attack formations and her defense formation will only last for two turns so by having an exclusive will allows your attack and defense formations to have an additional turn which is lasts for three turns and that's all there's nothing else no damage increment no um, addition buff i know it's kind of great that her talent has such strong skills but still it's kind of disappointing that she's only receiving an exclusive with just one straight line <laughs> and then the next character will be elma uh is elma 1.0 the one the the cheap you know, the, the young elma we know so for holy priest unit so it's an exclusive that again increase it's a helmet increase your hp and magic defense okay it has two effects one is Increase the healing percentage of your candle, your summon candle units by 20%. And when you have faction buff, when you cast your mirror of holy light effects, it cannot be dispelled, and that's it. So, as you can see, despite being able to summon a summon unit, the summon unit do not have effects like increasing its stats so yep <laughs> favoritism huh tell about that so well, that's it for exclusive then moving to skin and yep bear with me guys afterwards it will be our quick explanation demo play of sp leon so and a great great do i hate to say it but yep a great and happy valentine's day for you rascals out there <laughs> So yeah, we'll be getting skins for Valentine's Day and yep, is for both Kaguya and Iron Blood Commander. So hey, it's not a very expensive skin. You will be able to get and exchange them for 188 tickets during the Valentine's Day. And just a quick things for you guys to see. And okay, this is the previous older version. There's not much censorship. So for Vana in the cn version as you can see the heart shaped dress is kind of basically just cover up the waist and the bust part the bust part so um that's not the case for i i guess global and sea then moving to kaguya i'm not sure if there's any censorship involved by looking at the chibi characters i'm gonna presume no too and the skin's the same for all class. So this is how she looks like for her exclusive. This is how she looks like when she attack. Okay, you won't be able to see any camel toe stuff, though you get to see her um I gotta call it your stomach hole, your stomach button. As you can see, there's one dot on the area of the stomach. Okay, when she's casting or chanting a spell. Okay, releasing skills and when she faint in battle that's very cute so let's see how her motions animation looks like in this full form characters Okay, your usual big lovely boing boing on that summer and yep, you know if 
if you know, you know. If you don't know, um, don't bother finding out what Boeing Boeing is. Let's check it out again. Hayaku kane mochi ni naru hiketsu? Mochiron aru wa yo. Mazu, anata no chokin wo zenbu watashi ni azukeru koto. Hayaku kane mochi ni naru hiketsu. So, yep, she's definitely Boeing Boeing on the front. And moving to the Iron Blood Commander, quite a. Highly favorite characters from a lot of PvE and PvP players. Though I gotta say, I'm slightly disappointed, and you'll find out why. Ta da! Okay, um, so if you're a Muneke, and that means a chess person, um, you'll go for Kaguya, and if you're a Oshirike, which is your Shiri or Ketsu, your bard,、um, you will go for Iron Blood. Though,、um, It's kind of sad that she's blocking her great assets off front. I, I'm not a bad person, sorry guys. So, this is how she looks like when she's casting her spell. So,、um, it's hard to tell if there is any censorship. I'm going to presume no. I mean, the chibi icon is showing front, and now she's showing almost bad back from behind. Okay, with this, how she looks like when she's attacking and trusting with a big spoon, silver spoon. And when she releases her skill, she's. Strawberries and kiwi.、Hmm. Uh, damn, I'm not sure if that's a great combination with cakes for strawberry and kiwi. It's definitely sour stuff, except for Japanese strawberries. They are sweet. But knowing that、um, she's foreign, she, the thing she serves is、um, you guys will be eating it at your own risk. Alright, I guess that's it. Oh, okay.、Um, Okay, this is how she looks like when she's done, and let's see how she looks like in her full character's moving animations. Taikokno t a m e n i w a t a s t a t i w a c h i m i t s u n i k e k a k s h i j u b u n i j u m i o k a s a n e s o s t e s u b e t o k i s e n i s u r k e s i n w a s t a n o d e s r i g h t guess I'll be getting it because the words are blocking her. Her back, and yep, just so you know, I gotta emphasize I'm not a back person, but however, I have Iron Blood Commander, and I did not train my Kaguya since she's not easy to use, so I'll be getting a skin for her, and yep, let's change and find out here. Okay, that's why I cannot afford, and that's how it looks in full. I think I'm just in the same feeling of being able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. I'm not going to be able to put on a mask. All right, I gotta say, slightly disappointed. I don't see any、um, big motion swinging around. I, I guess Kaguya is a better choice. However, the art is definitely nice to watch, and I definitely will get it、um, when, for both Kaguya and her when the skin c o m e out in SEA servers. And again, happy Valentine's Day and curse you all, couples. Okay, h o o Is she getting one? Nope. And alright, a finally long awaited SP Leon is finally here. And thank you guys for bearing with me. So, this is how SP Leon looks like. Oh gosh. This Okay, I gotta say, I like this art and I like the new sword, but I gotta say, I'm still slightly disappointed because、um, for four years plus, we do not really get to see how、um, the full、uh, image of Ko Tetsu, his favorite twin, twin sword or the two sword he b r i n g around. I'm not sure if it's a twin sword, I'm, gonna, I'm kind of used to calling it twin blade. I was expecting that he would be swinging a Japanese katana sword, twin katana sword, in like an improved version of Kotetsu, but oh well, this, this will do too. And it's kind of nice. So, a n t s e i So, quick go through on his 
Talon, so returning Blue Dragon. So cost, there will be no cost limitations in the skill you bring. And damage deal will be increased by 30%. And that's full stop for the first line. Now second line, so in case everyone get confused. So apparently as you can see, after the first 30%, there's a full stop. Then followed by the line, physical damage taken by a hero is reduced by 30%. If you initiate attack, the effects double. So uh, my understanding is that the doubles effect only works for damage reductions and when you initiate attack only. Okay, followed by when moving, you ignore enemy's blockage on your path. Then after attacking, you'll be able to move three steps again. And when you end your turn, Cause all the path that you have been through to obtain a two-turn special terrain effect, Hell's Fire, when enemy units position or when they stand on that terrain at the end of turn, they will receive two effects, one or two debuff effects, or one is not a debuff, one is a one-time fixed damage based on Leon's attack, and the other is they will obtain this debuff effect of damage deal will be reduced by 20% meaning when after they get this debuff if they try to do damage to you the, instead of 100% damage to use the damage they do to you will be 80% only then combined with Leon's talent of um, 60% when you initiate a tank it's gonna be range from 50% reduction to 80%, that's kind of high. Then the two new skills is True Soul of Blue Dragon and Hellfire Stampede or Tremble. So, okay. So, not going to go too much about it, just quick. So, it's a command aura effect, a global command aura. So, it state all ally soldiers unit are all allies cavalry units, not sorry, cavalry units increase their attack intelligence by 15% if they battle with Lancer units, inc further increase their attack by 10% and if you initiate battle with infantry class, you attack first and if Leon bring his exclusive items, all Allies cavalry units will ignore terrain limitations, then followed by his passive. For each step you move, your hero's normal attack damage will increase by 6%, cap at 30%. Though I definitely find out there is some bug in regards to these skills. I'm not sure if it's a bug, but you guys will be finding out. We'll be discussing later on. And hopefully it will be fixed. And followed by Hellfire Stampede or Tremble. So it's a AOE skills. CD of 3. Cast range on yourself. And affected range is only 2 squares or tiles around you. So deal 0 0.33 times AOE damage to 2 squares or tiles around you to all enemies. Effective against infantry class. And will cause them addition effect of not able to heal for two turns, just like a sword dance effect. And after releasing these skills, it will cause the terrain to gain the two turn effect of Hellfire's effect. Oh sorry, it's not effective against infantry, but just purely causing them to not be able to heal, my bad. And looking at my equipment right now, this is just wrong old equipment that I've put for Leon's. Um, you know, love edit. The correct equipment for Leon, I'm still trying to build up for him. It's definitely it's MVP will be Balanced Blade. If you're trying to go play both AOE and just single target, it will be Balanced Blade. You can go with 3C or his new 2C, followed by his exclusive because all um, soldiers will ignore terrain. Then the rest is, well, the usual stuff and without further ado we're gonna do some before and after testing so all right i did some changes for leon right now and as you can see i'm letting him wear his exclusive 
I actually do notice some bug about, uh, I, I presume it's going to be a bug, that's the description, so just a quick go-through review, guys. So apparently the command aura written, the, the first line is written as, all cavalry units on the field increase their attack and intelligence by 15%. Then on the second line, it's the first 10% you see is if Lancer Soldier, when battling with Lancer Soldier, increase attack by 10%. When you initiate battle with the third line, initiate battle with infantry class heroes or infantry heroes in battle you will attack first so apparently it's three different phrase um that's put in one and i did some test play and i noticed that this is not the case so we'll put this stage for example but um end of the day we'll be checking out on leon so i'm not sure if this will be a bug or um, Zilong itself will do some patch up or better, uh, further clarification in upcoming patch. So right now I'm going to remove and we're going to change and here we're going to add in Elwin and Uria. So Uria is a hero, a uh, holy class and I'm bringing with Unicorn. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to remove Leon first. Then I'm going to bring Elwin, who is a cavalry class with cavalry soldier unit. So right now we will see and check out their stats. One three one three. 1, 3. That's easy. And around 1,465. And she's just 1,001. And... The unicorn uh, tells 1,215. 1, so let me do a quick recording of the figures and I'm gonna like re, re go through the stage again. So Elwin is 1313. And the unicorn is. One four six five. And Uria is one one six zero with one one six zero with one thousand two and fifteen one two one five. So right right now I'm just gonna quit the stage and this time round we're gonna add in SP Leon in it. So we're gonna see if there is any changes in the stats. Okay, I'm gonna remove the rest. So Leon has all the new exclusive skill set. And Elwin's here and here we go. Hi yo! So right, Elwin's dead right now uh, compared to just now just now is one three one three and one four Six five. So right now you can see a significant rise in his stats to one thousand four hundred eighty-four, and the unicorn attack has been raised to thousand six. That's a lot. However, for Yuya, it's actually still the same. So it's very weird that his talent is written as all cavalry units on. The few will have their intelligence and attack raised by 15%. So to be honest, I was expecting um, even if Yuria do not have her intelligence increase, at least the Unicorn, which is a cavalry class, 
should have his attack increased, but that is not the case, which is kind of weird. So, correct me if I'm wrong, um, anyone who can understand the Chinese word, you can tell that on the first line it writes, Chen Chang Yu Jin Qi Bing Bu Dui. Bu Dui usually it refers to unit. And on the second line, the one that raised, raised 10% is, Qiang Bing Si Bing. Si Bing means troops or soldiers. Then followed by the third line about the infantry it attack first. It did state when you initiate battle with infantry class heroes, you attack first. So this is pretty weird. Okay, now moving on. Uh, finally, I brought exclusive for Leon. So um, with his exclusive, in effect, all allied soldiers... All allies unit uh, cavalry class movement will not be restricted by terrain movement and even they are not being restricted by terrain movement a lot of time like places like there is these trees you'll be treated as you might be treated as flatland and you'll not enjoy the best okay. benefit from the cyborg riders or machine riders so this is not the case so as you can see is one Two. So you can see on top of Leon is one, a uh, top to the right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's able to move seven steps. So the great thing is that he will not be restricted by terrain obstructions. And at the same time, if there is terrain obstructions, machine rider will still have the effects um, triggered of getting two squares or towns immune in movement so that is pretty cool this unlike um, effects that just treat everything as flat land so that's cool so right. and okay that is so, okay we'll be doing the actual demo play on Leon's right now so the great thing is right now I'm gonna move here I'm gonna cast Shivery alright the spirit Translation. I'm going to move over to this tell. I'm going to cast uh, AOE. So you notice that when I travel, I burn the enemy once, and now I'm going to spend the AOE. So, fire Stampede or Trample. So I, the enemy further get burned twice. And now, after casting this, I get to move again. I get to burn the enemy four times. And, and depending on how you move, there's high chance in matches that you can burn the enemy for more than two to three times. And not only that, you can get to burn more than one enemy. And that's pretty much all for Leon's skill. And then, then as you can see, his Hellfire's effect is when enemies stand on that, at the end of the turn, they receive the caster's attack times one as fixed damage and then they receive the negative buff effect damage deal will decrease by 20 percent this will help um, increase the survivability of either leon's and his allies because it's um, a generic damage reduction it's not physical reduction or magic reduction so that's pretty cool <laughs> And okay, I guess that's it, and that, that's all for Leon's. But I did notice that um, the same weakness he has are still there is that um, you'll need to bring Shivery, and that's um, Shivery will still reduce the buff that he brings along himself. He did, unlike Elwin, um, act again or Shivery's that his, his type of Shivery that. When you act again, buff that you brought with your with you will not be reduced. So just to the down effect, he do not have um, a lot of self heal. So he's highly dependent on chivalry, and it's very hard for allies to save or heal him because while well, he is Leon Greaser, once you go out, well, once you go out, you can't come back, and I guess that's. It, that's the end of the demo play of Leon. Um, what did you guys think about his 
trousseau of the blue dragon if it's bug uh, if the explanation should be further elaborated or do you guys think it will be corrected or patched correctly in the upcoming patch leave it down in the comment section below and last but not least what do you guys think is he great normal or not so useful this is Kami. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys and goodbye. Thank you guys for your support. Bye-bye.